always sit here and when I meditate, I ask myself like just random different questions. Like I know the trees are alive and I know they hear us and they speak back in different ways. But like, why do some of them sit alone? And then you have others like back there, they're together. And then you have those, you know, some of them are planted, but some of them you could just tell, like, it's coming from a different place. If you know, you know. And like, why are some of them together? And then you have some of them by themselves. I always wondered that. And are the branches their arms? Or is it their family, like relatives or siblings. I always wondering, like, are the trees that are closest to each other more similar to each other or relatives? And the ones that are alone, are they just loners? Like, what made people, if they did plant them, what made them plant them there? And if they didn't plant them, what made the tree grow over there? Like, why did you grow around everybody? And why did you grow alone? And why does the trees, the, well, the leaves, like, why are they just different? How do they look different? Not just the color, but like the shape. You know? Why are you different from all these other trees? Like, what makes you different? Clearly, you're by yourself, but like, why did you choose that? You know? That's all I want to know. Just gonna give it a big hug. Thank you for giving us oxygen. energy and thank you for letting me know that there are other things out here other than myself that are living and deserves attention or care and you know you like that like why are you doing that are you hurt are you injured are you dying and why there isn't no leaves right here on this branch at all. Like, are you elders? Are you older? The more leaves on it, the younger you are. I got so many questions. And no, I'm not on shrooms or anything. This is just the questions I ask myself and the trees because I do talk to them. I just be wanting to know, like, why are you right there? And I know like people have discovered that they give off energy and they're living, but I wanna know if someone's coming up with a machine to be able to really communicate with them. You know, cause I feel like they all have a story to tell. And they've all seen different things from different perspectives. I feel like trees have different perspectives as well based on where they've grown. So beautiful, yet so complex. You know, like, wow, does each line mean something? And if so, what does it mean? Is it a, it looks like it gives, it gives off vein, like, you know what I'm saying? You know how we get veins in our, in our skin and in our bodies? Like, that's what the, that's what this gives off to me. So many questions. It's always like that when I'm meditating. Got my feet in the grass. Definitely does feel good today. Definitely. It's 
beautiful day. Encourage everybody to go get you some sea moss. This is lit. Tell you, fiery. And then on top of it, it's it's sea moss water. I never had sea moss water. I've always had sea moss gel or like sea moss gummies or something like that. I never had water, and it's good as fuck. What the fuck? Make a motherfucker not never want to go get no motherfucking water from Kroger. You hear me? <laughs> like, you can put all of this shit in your water. Like, just boil hella water and make your own sea moss water. Pineapples, cucumbers, shungite water, organic coconut, water, pineapple, sea moss, and honey. Like, come on. You can do this. Shut my own for real. Like, honestly. Really, really. <sighs> so now, I have to go to the house. Figure out my credit shit. I've been thinking about that heavy. Like I've been paying up on my credit. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to, but I'm not getting the results I want. I'm trying to be in the 800 credit club, and I'm gonna get there. God damn it. 